Hey guys, Yulia here. So today I wanted to show you a plant that I have in my garden, blooming right now, and it is called Amaranth Dreadlocks. And I would say it's probably the most unusual plant that I've ever had in my garden. And I think I was a plant hunter in my previous life because I'm always looking for this weird looking, uh, really unusual plants. So this definitely fits the description. So I saw this plant in the catalog of Select Seeds and Select Seeds is one of the best seed uh, producers that I use for my garden. It's just their, their catalogs are amazing. Their website is really good. They grow a lot of uh, old fashioned plants uh, that you no longer can find in production, but they have seeds of them. So. I bought a pack, I think it was like $2 or something. So I started this plant um, mid-April indoors. This is an annual, so you have to start it from seed every year. And uh, by end of May, I put it outside and it grew into this. <laughs> and it starts out tiny. The seeds are minuscule. And when the plants come out, you think they are not going to make it. Uh, they are so small. But then by midsummer, they're actually put on a lot of bulk. And by end of summer, they start to bloom and they come out this beautiful plumes of flowers, the most unusual ones. So this particular type is more weeping or pendulous. Uh, amaranth comes in all different varieties and all different colors. So um, there are some that are more like upright and more clustered. This one is, I think, one of the longest plumes um, out of all amaranth. And I love the color too. It is this dark pink magenta kind of color. So um, as I mentioned, it is an annual and it is a very old plant in cultivation. People have been cultivating this plant for thousands of years because it has a lot of medicinal uses and also um, they use the seeds from this plant and they all um, to this day they do uh, in flower and also amaranth oil. So when you go to um, a store like probably Whole Foods will sell it. It is actually quite pricey. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get seeds from this plant. I mostly grew it for like ornamental value, but we'll see if I get seeds. They say you could sprinkle it on the salad uh, and some people do grow it as a vegetable. So just for, um, you know, edible use. So I highly recommend growing this plant also for flower arrangements. This plant changed the look of my flower arrangements this year like thousand percent. Um, when you put those plumes in, they just fill in so beautifully. And just look at this plant. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? I'm about 5'8", so I am just impressed by the force of nature that this plant is growing from a tiny uh, seed into this gorgeous flower. So um, I think that's it on the information about this plant. But what I'm going to do today, I'm actually going to gather some flowers for our new neighbors that moved in across the street a couple of days ago. And I'm going to include this amaranth in a bouquet and I will show you what difference uh, it makes in a bouquet.
Uh, for my flower arrangements, I follow pretty much the same rules that I follow in the garden, and it is mixing larger flowers with more dainty ones. So I start um, with the larger flowers first, like the dahlias, which I have a lot of, uh, and this is lavender perfection. And also when you put in the bigger flowers in your vase, uh, it's easier to tuck in those smaller flowers uh, later. It doesn't always work the other way around. Okay. Um, and then, uh, and this is HS Date. It's a beautiful orangey, color dahlia and then i have this filler which is snake root and snake root a lot of people would consider aggressive in the garden it is a native plant and a great pollinator but if you um, don't want any aggressors that seed freely in your garden i wouldn't uh, suggest that you plant one but i love them i just um, have them seed all over and then i pull them out if i don't like them and they're great filler for bouquets uh, especially at the end of the season. Um, I also have some basil that I cut and I think it's kind of unusual uh, to receive a bouquet that smells like basil uh, and it's, it has these nice spikes of flowers. Again, I'm not a florist I don't even play one on TV, I just try um, that, you know, it'll look nice. Um, I also have some uh, Verbena bonaireensis that I um, cut from the garden. And it's already starting to look really pretty, at least on my side. <laughs> It's kind of hard to make arrangements from the other angle. Okay, so I have some height, I have some fullness. Um, these are beautiful hyacinth vine beans and they are more for the bottom of your arrangement. Look at that. Actually, I'm going to cut it a little bit because it's too long. It's so pretty. So it looks really pretty, but um, you will see the difference that amaranth makes. It is a conversation starter for sure. If you plant it in your garden, will ask you a lot of questions. You see this instant like a fireworks effect and they last a very long time in bouquets too. They just give this fullness and a whimsical look to your bouquet. Just, it looks amazing from every angle. This is gorgeous. All right, guys, I'm all done and I love how this bouquet turned out. You can see the additional dimension that the amaranth brings to this composition. I just love this, love this plant. Um, anyway, I hope you're encouraged to plant this um, beautiful, magical plant amaranth next year. If you have any questions or comments, post in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Bye.